Hello students, this is Nalip Budani, Assistant Professor at LJIT. In the last lecture, I taught you case number one of Frobenius method. Today, I will discuss case number two of Frobenius method. So case number two is double root, that is repeated roots. It means the value of R1 and R2 is repeated and say r1 equals to r2 equals to b so in this case the solution will be given by y1 equals to y at r equals to b and y2 equals to del y by del r at r equals to b and the general solution is given by y equals to c1 y1 plus c2 y2 that is the linear combination of y1 and y2 c1 will be as it is and y1 is y at r equals to b plus c2 and y2 is del y by del r at r equals to b. How we will understand this concept with the help of an example? Example number one is, we have to find out the series solution of the equation x y double dash plus y dash minus y equals to zero about x zero equals to zero. So first of all, we have to show that x zero equals to zero is an RSP that is regular singular point. So for that purpose, we will compare the given differential equation, say that is equation number one, with the standard form P0 xy double dash plus P1 xy dash plus P2 xy equals to zero. So by comparison, we have P0 x equals to x. Now for x0 equals to 0, we have p0 x equals to 0. If you will put down the value of x equals to 0 over here, you will get 0. Okay. So for x0 equals to 0, we have p0 x equals to 0. If it happens, then x0 equals to 0 is a singular point. Now we have to show that this x0 equals to 0 is an RSP. So for that purpose, we have to find out two functions so one is x minus x0 p of x and other is x minus x0 the whole square q of x so for that purpose we have to find out p of x and q of x so for p of x and q of x we will divide the given differential equation by the coefficient of y double dash here the coefficient of y double dash is x so we will divide equation number one by x so we have y double dash plus 1 over x into y dash minus 1 over x into y equals to 0. Now we will compare this differential equation with the standard form y double dash plus p of x y dash plus q of x y equals to 0. So by comparison we have p of x equals to 1 upon x and q of x equals to minus 1 upon x. Now we will find out two functions one is x minus x0 p of x and other is x minus x0 the whole square q of x. Okay, so x, x will be as it is minus the value of x0 is 0 and p of x is 1 upon x. So this is x by x and x by x is 1. So this is a finite value. This is not a function of x. So for x equals to 0, it will become 1 because this is again a constant function, right? Now we will find out x minus x0 the whole square q of x. Put down the value of x0 equals to 0, so it will become x square multiplied by q of x is minus 1 over x. So minus x square over x, it will become minus x. Now in this function of x put x equals to 0, so we have 0 value, right? So p of, for p of x equals to 1 upon x, x minus x0 p of x, that is a finite value, 1. And for q of x minus 1 upon x, x minus x0, the whole square q of x, is a finite value 0. It means both are defined for x0 equals to 0. So we can say that x0 equals to 0 is an RSP that is regular singular point. Okay. Now we will find out the series solution of equation 1 about x0 equals to 0 and say that is y equals to sigma n is from 0 to infinite a n x minus x0 the whole is to n plus r. Now replace x0 by 0. So we have sigma n equals to 0 to infinite a n x raised to n plus r. Separating x raised to n plus r into 
x raised to r and x raised to n. So it will become x raised to r sigma n equals to 0 to infinite a n x raised to n. Now expanding this term from n equals to 0 to infinite. So we will write down only three terms. x raised to r will be as it is. For n equals to 0, it will become a 0 x raised to 0. And x raised to 0 is 1. So first term will become a 0. Then after plus for n equals to 1, it will become a1 x raised to 1 plus for n equals to 2, it will be a2 x square plus so on. Now see this is equation number 2. Now find out the derivative of this equation. So it will become y dash that is equals to sigma n equals to 0 to infinite a n and derivative of x raised to n plus r that is n plus r x raised to n plus r minus 1. Now again find out the derivative of this equation. So it will become y double dash equals to sigma n equals to 0 to infinite a n n plus r and derivative of x raised to n plus r minus 1 that is n plus r minus 1 into x raised to n plus r minus 2. Now we will substitute y that is this one y dash this one and y double dash this one in equation number 1. And equation number one is this one okay so we will multiply y double dash by x plus y dash will be as it is and minus y will be as it is and that is equals to zero okay so this is x this is y double dash plus this is y dash minus this one is y equals to zero okay now multiplying x raised to 1 by x raised to n plus r minus 2. So it will become x raised to n plus r minus 2 plus 1. So overall result will be x raised to n plus r minus 1. And these two terms will be as it is and the sigma from n equals to 0 to infinite will be as it is. And we have written this term and this term as it is that is equals to 0. Now we will take a n, n plus r and x raised to n plus r minus 1 common from these two terms. So sigma n equals to 0 to infinite, a n x raised to n plus r minus 1 common, n plus r common. So into bracket we have n plus r minus 1 plus 1 okay and minus sigma n equals to 0 to infinite a n x raised to n plus r will be as it is now this minus 1 and plus 1 will cancel out n plus r one time and n plus r one time it will become n plus r two times so this term will become sigma n equals to 0 to infinite n plus r the whole square a n x raised to n plus r minus 1 and after minus sigma n equals to 0 to infinite a n x raised to n plus r equals to 0. Okay. Now we have to obtain the common power of x. So for that purpose in this term we will replace n by n plus 1. By doing so it will become x raised to n plus r. Okay. So replacing n by n plus 1, it will become sigma n plus 1 equals to 0. So it will become n equals to minus 1 to infinite. Replacing n by n plus 1, so it will become n plus r plus 1 the whole square. A n will become a n plus 1. And x raised to n plus r minus 1 will become x raised to n plus r. Then after minus this term will be as it is that is equals to 0. Now first of all put the value of n equals to 1 in this expression and write down the this whole term for sigma n equals to 0 to infinite. So for n equals to minus 1 minus 1 plus 1 will cancel out we have r square and a n plus 1 will become a 0 and x raised to n plus r will become x raised to r minus 1. Then after plus, we have to write down this whole term as it is. But for that purpose, n will be from 0 to infinite. 
so plus sigma n equals to 0 to infinite n plus r plus 1 whole square into a n plus 1 into x raised to n plus r then after minus sign and this whole term will be as it is that is equals to 0 okay now we will combine these two terms by taking common x raised to n plus r right and we will equate the coefficient of r is to x raised to r minus 1 to 0 and then after coefficient of x raised to n plus r to 0 here coefficient of x raised to r minus 1 is a0 r square so we will equate it to 0 a0 r square equals to 0 but we know that a0 is not equals to 0 so we have r square equals to 0 so we have two values of r that is r equals to 0 comma 0 so which is a double root okay then after equating the coefficient of x raised to n plus r to 0 here you can see that the coefficient of x raised to n plus r that is n plus r plus 1 the whole square into a n plus 1 minus a n so we will equate this coefficient to 0 okay where n is greater than or equal to 0 here make the subject of a n plus 1 so we have a n plus 1 equals to a n over n plus r plus 1 the whole square now put n equals to 0 and 1 so for n equals to 0 we have a 1 and that is equals to 1 over r plus 1 whole square into a 0 for n equals to 1 we have a 2 and that is equals to 1 over r plus 2 whole square into a1 and replace a1 by this one so it will become 1 over r plus 2 the whole square into r plus 1 the whole square into a0 and so on so we have values of a1 and a2 now substituting these values in equation number 2 equation number 2 is y equals to x raised to r into bracket a0 plus a1x plus a2x square and so on so x raised to r as it is a0 as it is plus this is the value of a1 right the value of a1 is 1 over r plus 1 the whole square into a0 that is this one okay plus this is the value of a2 and the value of a2 is 1 over r plus 2 the whole square into r plus 1 the whole square into a0 into x square plus so on now taking a0 common so we have a0 x raised to r into bracket 1 plus 1 over r plus 1 whole square into x plus 1 over r plus 1 the whole square into r plus 2 the whole square into x square plus dash 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 and so on now see this is equation number 3 now we will find out first solution that is y1 and y1 is nothing but y at r equals to 0 so we will put the value of r equals to 0 in this equation so we will be having y1 that is equals to a0 x raised to 0 is 1 so into bracket 1 plus 1 over r is 0 so it will become x plus this r is 0 it is 1 r is 0 2 square is 4 so the result is x square by 4 plus dash 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 so this is y1 okay now for second solution what we have to do we have to find out del y by del r at r equals to 0 so we have to differentiate equation 3 with respect to r so del y by del r okay that is equals to over here we have to apply the product rule okay for differentiation here we will apply product rule so this whole function will be as it is a0 is a constant value and we are differentiating x raised to r partially with respect to r okay so x is constant so we will apply the formula of differentiation of a raised to x that is a raised to x into log a so it will become x raised to r into log x okay then after a0 into x raised to r that will be as it is now we have to differentiate this whole function partially with respect to r derivative of 1 is 0 
and x is constant so that will be as it is now derivative of 1 over r plus 1 the whole square so it will become minus 2 over r plus 1 the whole raised to 3 now in this case we have to apply the product rule on the functions of r and x square will be constant so this x square is constant and 1 over r plus 2 the whole square will be as it is and derivative of 1 over r plus 1 the whole square so it will be minus 2 over r plus 1 the whole cube then after the function 1 over r plus 1 the whole square will be as it is and x square is constant and derivative of 1 over r plus 2 the whole square it will be minus 2 over r plus 2 the whole raised to 3 so this is nothing but del y by del r now we will put the value of r equals 0 to find out y2 y2 is del y by del r at r equals 0 so in this equation we will put down the value of r equals to 0 so a0 will be as it is x raised to 0 that will be 1 and log x so it will be a0 log x and then after 4r equals to 0 this will be x over 1 and 4r equals to 0 this will be x square over 4 and 1 will be as it is so we have 1 plus x plus x square by 4 plus dash 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 similarly over here we will put down the value of r equals to 0 and after simplification you will get this term that is minus 2a0 into bracket x plus x square by 4 plus x square by 8 plus dash 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 and so on okay now you can simplify these two terms x square by 4 and x square by 8 by taking LCM so it will become 3 by 8 x square and remaining terms will be as it is so this is y2 okay and the general solution is given by that is the linear combination of y1 and y2 so we have general solution y that is equals to c1 y1 plus c2 y2 so c1 will be as it is and y1 this is y1 a0 into bracket 1 plus x plus x square by 4 plus dash 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 you can see y1 okay this is y1 then after plus c2 will be as it is and this whole term is y2 you can see from here also okay so we have multiplied this term and this term by c2 so we have result c2 a0 log x into bracket 1 plus x plus x square by 4 plus dash 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 minus 2 c2 a0 into bracket x plus 3 by 8 x square plus dash 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 and so on okay now we have replaced c1 a0 by a this is c1 a0 okay so we have replaced c1 a0 by a and then after c2 a0 by b this is c2 a0 that is by b okay and taking this term common so we have over here a then after plus over here b log x and this term common that is 1 plus x plus x square by 4 plus dash 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 and so on then after minus 2 and c2 a0 c2 a0 that is b and into bracket x plus 3 by 8 x square plus dash 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 and so on so this is the required general solution where a is c1 a0 and b is c2 a0 so today we have discussed case number two of Frobenius method where we will get repeated roots of r right and in this case the general solution is given by y1 equals to y at r equals to b and y2 equals to del y by del r at r equals to b then after we will 
write down the linear combination of y1 and y2 to find out the Chandra solution that is y equals to c1 y1 plus c2 y2 where y1 is y at r equals to b and y2 is del y by del r at r equals to b okay thank you for watching this video